Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today I'm going to go over a new series and this is going to be on the Giza pyramid geometry. So I was told to look into it and it, uh, it is pretty interesting so might as well do a series on it. And the first video is going to be on uh, the number pi, e and golden ratio are encoded in the Great Pyramid of Giza. All right, and uh, as always, here's the links I'll be covering, and this is the MES links where I throw everything in there, and I've made a YouTube playlist right here, uh, Giza Pyramid Geometry. And uh, here, I quickly just, uh, just show the link uh, instead of just the title. So there's the link, and uh, we'll, we'll go over the Wikipedia page for the mainstream uh, view on the Great Pyramid of Giza, and then uh, then I'll show, show you where I got these... Uh, the connections from it's from this uh, website ancient-origins.net this mathematical encoding in the great pyramid and then uh, here's a link to my excel file which i'll be going over and you can download and you can edit it or even uh, yeah you can download edit it online and so on and uh, you can double check all my calculations and, and there's a number pi the wikipedia page for it there's number e the golden ratio and also this link to my uh, chat gpt to convert angle to uh, degrees all right, so let's continue further. So here's the MES links page where I basically put everything in there and you can uh, click this drop down and then you go to the uh, occult page right here and I've added the Giza pyramid geometry inside the uh, occult section there and there's the Giza pyramid geometry. So there's nothing here right now because uh, the current video I'm working on right as we speak. <laughs> so that is the video there. So anyway, so here's the Great Pyramid of Giza. So the Great Pyramid of Giza is the largest Egyptian pyramid and served as the tomb of Pharaoh Khufu, who ruled during the fourth dynasty of the Old Kingdom. And uh, built in the early 26th uh, century BC over a period of 27 years, the pyramid is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world and the only wonder that has remained largely intact. And uh, it is the most famous monument of the Giza Pyramid Complex, which is part of the UNESCO uh, World Heritage Site, Memphis and Necro Necropolis. It is situated at the northern end of the line of the three pyramids at Giza. All right, and uh, here is the Great Pyramid of Giza. So there it is. It looks like that. And uh, you can see the, the size of these blocks compared to the humans over there. It's pretty epic stuff there. And uh, yeah, there's the uh, coordinates. And this north uh, coordinate uh, possibly uh, uh, encodes the speed of light. We'll get to that in a future uh, video. All right, but for uh, this video, what uh, we'll be needing is the uh, this original height, 146.6 meters or 481 feet or 280 cubits. So we'll be dealing with a meter and then the base of it, each length is going to be 230.33 meters or 756 feet or 440 cubits. And also the slope right here is uh, 51 uh, degrees, this 50 minutes, 40 seconds. And then uh, we'll convert that into just uh, decimal degrees. All right, and continuing further, so here's uh, the three uh, pyramids at Giza. It's the northern one. It's the pyramid of uh, Khufu, the bigger one. There. So there's the Great Pyramid right there. There's the other smaller pyramid of uh, Khafra and pyramid of Menkaru. All right, I believe <laughs> hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Anyways, so here's the site that I got these uh, connections from. Uh, this Radio Ancient Origins, uh, restructuring the stories, human the story of humanity's past. Interesting stuff there. And there's some other stuff uh, there. I haven't uh, covered it, but... I may do it in a future video, but uh, the one I wanted to look at is this. Uh, they made this image right here. And then, and then uh, if you scale uh, down the pyramid such that the height is four, you're going to have pi, uh, pi, uh, and yeah, you're going to have pi in there. You're going to have the number E, and you're also going to have phi, or the golden ratio, all encoded. And, and then they went over the calculations over here and showed the percent accuracy of it. Uh, so basically 99.99% for most of them. It's pretty epic stuff. So I want to double check that. So that is what I went and did right here. So this is the link to the Excel file. And uh, I'll be uh, showing you uh, what I did over there. And also there's pi. So here's pi. So pi is 3.14159, etc. It keeps going on and on. Just keep that in mind. And there's the number E. Number E is 2.71828. And there's the golden ratio. Golden ratio is going to be uh, this equation, 1 plus square root 5 divided by 2. And this equals to 1.618, and et cetera. So you can learn about that in golden ratio and also in my earlier videos. Uh, but the first thing we want to do is convert the uh, this right here, the slope, 51 uh, degrees, uh, this 51 degrees, 50 seconds and 40, uh, I mean 50 minutes and 40 seconds in degrees. Convert it out to decimals. So you just go to ChatGPT. What is this in degrees? And it just shows you their... Um, uh, the way it works is, yeah, so there's 60 minutes in a degree. So you have to divide this by 50, uh, 60 
And then, then there's 3,600 uh, 3, uh, seconds in a degree, so you're going to divide this 40 by 3600, or 60 times 60. And uh, basically, you get 51.844 uh, degrees, etc. So anyways, let's jump into the Excel file. So there's the link to the Excel file. You can download it and so on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here and open it inside my desktop uh, so it's easier to work with. So, all right, so let's see what we have. So here is the height... Um, yeah, the height of the Great Pyramid. Uh, the current height, I'm not going to use it, uh, so it looks like it's uh, shortened a bit. The base remains the same. So the original height is 146.6 meters, or 481 uh, uh, feet, or uh, 280 cubits. Uh, but we'll be looking at this number right here. So this one here, I'll just bold this, and also this meters right here. I'll, I'll bold all the ones that we use. So the meters, the base, the base is 230.33. And there's a slope 51.8. And uh, here's the calculation I just did on top there. So uh, you can see the calculation. 51 plus 50 divided by 60. And then plus uh, 40 divided by 60 divided by 60. That's just 3,600. Anyways, see so we get this number over there. Rounded to uh, just one, one decimal place. All right, so here's the... Uh, so I drew this out. So here's the original pyramid. So the original pyramid, it has... Yeah, it has the height is 146.6 meters. So there's the, all these lengths are in meters. So this 146.6, and uh, and then this uh, this part right here, uh, yeah, this part right here. This is the angle right here, 51.84, or just this one, 51.8. I'll just make it one more decimal place. Uh, yes, 51.84, and then uh, this this angle as well is over here. Let's move it uh, to this, make it a bit uh, neater to the right. All right, so th that's what it is. And then what I've done here is the base, I've divided this by 2. So this is uh, just the uh, base 230.33 divided by 2. So we have a triangle right here. And uh, also uh, another thing is this angle right here, 76.31. Uh, to do that, uh, we could just subtract 180. So the full uh, triangle, I mean, uh, yeah, the, a triangle needs to have 180 degrees. So we could just uh, sum this up. So we go, I just went 180 minus two times uh, this uh, C, uh, this slope right here. So two times, uh, this plus this, and then you subtract 180 from these two, the summation, you're gonna get this angle 76.31. And then uh, this uh, the side length or the slope length, uh, you can calculate this using Pythagoras theorem. So square root of, uh, of uh, both of this height. So this one right here, uh, or this, this right here divided by two. I'll just put this uh, better. Just to make it it's the same thing, but I just wanted to type this here. So this squared plus the height squared. So the base uh, squared plus this squared. Uh, and then, yeah, you get 186.43. And this one's just a mirror image of that. And what I've also done is I've added uh, Pythagorean theorem right here. So to get, get this one, so again, uh, C squared, the hypotenuse is just going to be A squared plus B squared and then square root that. And that is just the Pythagorean theorem. All right, let's continue back here. All right, then continuing further. So now if we uh, scale down this uh, pyramid such that we have a height of four, to do that, what we'll do is, well, we need to get the height to four. So we just multiply this by four, divide this by this number. So they cancel out. So what we'll do is, so uh, this is just going to be D, this part right here, the height, times by four, divided by the height. So we do that to all of these, so we scale it all down. So then when you do this, we just get a four. And then this one, you're going to do this as well. This times by four divided by the height. And then you do that here as well. Uh, uh, the basically uh, this part right here, this base, the half of the base times by four divided by the height. So do that always, and we're going to get the three point one four and this other one five point zero nine. The angles stay the same because it's just a disproportion. Uh, I'll move this here, and then I'm just going to fix this how it looks like. All right, uh, yeah, it's hard to fix it, but anyways, I'll leave it there. So, uh, so what I'll do as well here is I'm gonna call this angle. I'm gonna call it alpha, so the Greek letter alpha, and then this top one right here, I'm gonna call that beta, so 76.31. This one's 51.84. So we have now we have our proportions uh, using this four, making a height of four. So now we'll compare. Yeah, now we'll do some comparisons with famous constants. So pi, you can just type in uh, in the um, Excel pi, and then uh, bracket bracket gives you the exact number of pi. Uh, to this uh, many decimal places. And then what I'll do is half the base. So half the base is just this one right here, 3.14. Oh, yes, yeah, so we'll, just one of these. And then uh, and I, I made this more decimal places here. And then we subtract the difference. So this minus this, we're going to get 0 0.00699, etc. So the difference in percentage was going to this divided by pi and then times by 100 to get the percent. Uh, the, this one has built in. So percentage 0 0.022% difference. 
and then put percent same. What I did was one minus the absolute value. I just want the absolute value of the similarity. So one minus this absolute value. Uh, it, it's going to be the same if you have absolute value or not, but just just because this one is negative. There. Anyways, we're going to get ninety nine point nine eight percent accurate to pi. So this pi, this is pretty much pi to the ninety nine point nine eight percent. And now the number e. So number e, you could put just exponent to power of one. So this, this is just e to the one. Uh, this is built in. So two point seven one eight two eight. And then, uh, so the, uh, that, that, uh, web page, they, they show this calculation four times alpha divided by, uh, beta. So we'll go four times, uh, and then this is, uh, C14, that's this one right here. Uh, and then, yeah, that's just the slope, and then times it by, and then this is the beta, I just have the full thing, 180 minus, uh, yeah, 180 minus two, these two angles to get beta. And then, uh, yeah, and times it by, yeah, this is the slope. Anyways. So that is, uh, yeah, that is right here, beta. So this is four times alpha divided by beta, and you're gonna get 2.71753, and subtract the difference. This minus this, you're gonna get a negative 0 0.00075, and then the percentage is just this divided by that. You get, you're gonna get point, uh, and then times by 100, so negative 0.028%. And then look at the uh, absolute, uh, just how similar it is, one minus this, so, so 100% minus the difference, the absolute value of the difference, we get 99.97%. So that's pretty epic stuff. So E is encoded in there. And now the next one is uh, this number here. Uh, this is in fact just pi times uh, times phi or the golden ratio. So if you go back to that Excel file, um, this, this web page. So they got this one right here. So they have uh, pi here, four. This is pi and then five, pi times golden ratio. Those are alpha and beta. And then this right here, four times uh, alpha divided by beta equals e. All right. So that is what they have. And that's what we have uh, as well. So pi, so we have pi right here times it by phi. And I just used the equation from the, uh, from the, uh, uh, from the Wikipedia. So one plus square root five divided by uh, two right there. That is our, um, yeah, that's going to be our golden ratio. You can even see that right here. One, let's see what it was again. I'm just going to copy this. So if you write this inside, you're going to get 1.618, etc. So 1.618, etc. So that is it. And then yes, times it by pi, you get 5.0832. And then the slope length is just this one right here. So I just have this right there and expand the decimal places. We get 5.0868. The difference is going to be this minus that, 0 0.0036. And then the, the uh, percent difference is just going to be this divided by the original. That's the original of five times, I mean, pi times five. And we get 0.07%. Uh, again, times by 100 to get percent. And then one minus this, we get 99.93%. So that's uh, epic stuff there. And then uh, further comparisons, what they also do in this over here, they go over here. So they, they look at here. So they look at the tan of the alpha and show that it's equal to four divided by pi. And they do the cosine, show that it's equal to one divided by phi, uh, or golden ratio. And then they have sine of the alpha equals four divided by uh, pi times phi. So, and then these are all within 99% accuracy. So let's have a look right here. So four divided by pi equals 1.2732. And then tan of uh, alpha, but the, this is a default as radians. Uh, so what I, uh, you have to do is convert this to radians. So radian, uh, convert degrees to radians. So C14 is just a, is just a slope. So we, C14 cell is a slope. All right. Convert that to tan of that is going to be 1.272. The difference is right here, uh, negative 0 0.000436. The percent is going to be uh, right here, negative 0 0.034. And the percent similarity is 99.97%. It's epic stuff. So the next one is 1 divided by phi. We could go over here, one divided by, this is, there's the full equation. We get 0.618. And then cosine of, uh, of alpha is going to be, again, using the radians, uh, uh, convert to radians. This is default radians. You get neg uh, then yeah, you get this 0.6178. The difference is negative 0.00024. Uh, percent difference is going to be negative 0.038%. And then the percent similarity is 99.96%. It's epic stuff. And then the last one is this one, four divided by, pi times phi, so four divided by pi times phi right here, golden ratio. And then uh, and then if you look at sine of the alpha, uh, we get 0 0.7863, the other one 7.869, difference is negative 0 0.0006, percent is negative 0.072%. Percent same similarities are 99.93%. So that is uh, epic stuff there, <laughs> all right.
So I think that's uh, quite the uh, connection there. And yeah, what does it all mean? Well, that's uh, for another day, but I think it's pretty interesting whether it's um, unintentional or, or intentional. It still uh, shows some pretty epic stuff. Anyways, that is all for today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. And yeah, let me know if you have any uh, more uh, uh, geometry, Giza, uh, Giza pyramid geometry. I think there's, yeah, there's a whole bunch I'll be covering in, the, in future videos. I just want to go uh, step by step so I can double check everything and also create an Excel file where you can download and view it all yourself and play around with it and so on. So it's easier to uh, compare as opposed to just a web page where you're supposed to just accept that this is right. <laughs> but anyways, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.